Welcome to Happiness and the City. This is Barbara and it's just so wonderful to be able to connect with you through this um, uh, wonderful channel. And today I'd like to talk about the concept of order. Uh, we talked uh, for a few weeks about various aspects and dimensions of laws and um, we shouldn't be ignorant in those matters of relationships between diverse kinds of laws to diverse kinds of order. Um, there is a very strange situation today in politics under uh, the justification of democracy, a lot of democratic institutions have been destroyed. Like, um, there is no more uh, amazing uh, way to connect millions and uh, even billions of people that, than what we have today in Internet's platforms, communication platforms. And the orderly response should be to allow this to happen and enjoy that kind of access for all kinds of groups of people. And a few groups got together and they want to destroy the whole thing because they want only their voice to be heard. And that's not democratic, okay? It's vandalism. And we have to understand the difference between order and vandalism. Because a lot of laws today are passed not because they are within a concept of good order, but because some vandals uh, use all kinds of pressures to destroy what billions of people love. So I decided to think about that topic of order as primary for us to understand how to uh, connect the right law to the right order. Because if we connect law to the wrong kind of order, nothing really good will come out of it. And last week we talked about how um, many tragedies happened in the world because laws and badges of authority were given to people who created wrong kinds of order, like uh, what happened um, during World War II uh, with, with um, uh, Nazi invasion of many European countries. And this issue has been very close to my heart because I was born in the city of Gdansk um, before uh, World War II, it was known as Danzig. So f since my um, birth, I've been dealing with the issues of peace between Germany and Poland. And as I was growing up, um, I always wanted my heart to be filled with loving order between those two countries. And uh, luckily, I was brought up in homes that agreed with that. In other words, in the homes uh, where I grew up, uh, we uh, tried to bring in loving presence of God to even the most difficult conflict. So the um, the way I was taught to think was how to create peace between me and my neighbors, uh, between me and um, all the countries that I'm connected to. So that created a certain foundation of stability within my heart and my mind that has been informing my whole life about the way to search for peace as something that creates the right order. Um, I wanted you to see 
in the uh, Wikipedia and I really uh, encourage you to support this wonderful organization. There is a concept of order right here. Um, and you see how many this how many um, articles have been written about it. So I encourage you to study and look at this. Um, it's a very uh, wonderful way to um, organize our minds. And here you ha we have orderliness, a desire for organization categorization, the process in which ideas and objects are recognized, differentiated and understood. Keterarchy, a system of organization wherein the elements have the potential to be ranked a number of different ways. And hierarchy, an arrangement of items that are represented as being above, below, or at the same level as one another. So you see here, uh, those are just basic um, concepts in those articles around the or concept of order. There are also books that I recommend that you read, but we should not ignore the concept of order the way we have been ignoring it. Because people think that law is order. Law is not order. Law is outcome of thinking about order or disorder. Law can be disorder, as it was in Nazi Germany. It was not orderly law. It had those um, um, uh, likenesses of order, but it was disorder that created um, horrible... Uh, genocide and we are still dealing with consequences so many um, decades after uh, this because of the um, horrible um, uh, trauma that was inflicted on um, people of Israel, on uh, people in Poland, Russia and Germany itself. Uh, had to abide by this disorder that created um, massive uh, crimes. So we are in a situation today that Germany, in which Germany understood the need to create the right order of things. So they are not quickly jumping to uh, laws as solution because they understand that order of peace has to come before the laws imposing wrong order create tragedies. So let's look at orderliness, right? Orderliness, a desire for organization. So we have to have desire for organization. Um, we have a situation in the United States of America in which the government um, had to be shut down a few times and that is a symptom of disorganization. So there's organization but within the organization of government there's a lot of disorder, a lot of disorganization. And the disorganization sometimes is, uh, uh, is misunderstood as um, a crime committed by some employees of the government, but it actually is an outcome of disorganization and lack even of thinking about organization. So today we have need to look at this question very seriously because of this massive debt that has to be dealt. And I did ask God uh, for miraculous ownership of that debt because then I can cancel it. That will be a wonderful thing. But God will not answer this prayer if I'm thinking about the government in terms of organization that is without his divine order. 
And divine order in a government is not the same as divine order in a church. Because there's a difference between king and priest. And in Christianity, obviously, in the personhood of Christ, there's fusion of um, uh, the function of royal priesthood. But in the organization of daily life, we do have distinction between the palace and the church, between the government and sanctuary. Government is not a sanctuary. The purpose of the government is to create good organization of peace. That's the primary purpose. So organization of the government should have that in view first to create order that would result in peaceful outcomes. If the government is based only on forcing laws that um, are pushed in order to assert will of certain forces, it can create disorganization because it can create um, lots of imbalances and that is the root cause for that massive debt of the US government. So before we deal with the debt issue and ownership of that debt, we have to have vision of the right way to organize the governments and to have the desire to think about this. Uh, we have a lot of private companies today, like Apple, perfect organization. It's not a government institution. But the, Apple knew that in order to create perfection in technology, it had to develop efficient, beautiful organization. Apple, from the beginning, from the moment Steve Jobs had the vision to create that technological computer company, he knew that perfect organization is the key. And perfect organization doesn't mean you have to like uh, have um, millions and pe millions of people together to figure it out. Sometimes it takes a few geniuses to do that and to create the, the architecture of organization that is very successful. I've been looking at um, structures of diverse governments. It's my uh, education from MIT. So I am applying the ancient knowledge of political philosophy and political science to the current need. And before I would come up with any uh, ideas about how to deal with that massive debt of American government, I have to have vision of the beautiful order and organization that would be very efficient, perfect in many ways, and that would be based on light and life of divine government from kingdom of God. Why I'm strong on that? Because I went in my personal life through bad disorga disorganized situation after I was injured in a car accident. I had perfect shape before. I was in dance, learning ballet, and then I was injured and it didn't heal right and my body was deformed. And there was a group of American friends who encouraged me to pray to God for a miracle. And I was very surprised that their faith was so powerful. Um, I was looking at the money in God we trust and I was looking at my American friends and I thought to myself, I was missing, I had been missing something from the way I was brought up. Um, in circumstances that did not recognize divine government. Though traditionally Poland is a royal country and so is Russia and so is Germany. Three 
countries of great divine government, royal government is divine government. Uh, and then they became um, just completely headless in this respect. And then I came to America and I became American citizen and all of those wonderful people looked at me and they said, you have to ask God for miraculous healing of this. So unexpectedly I'm getting connection to Americans in ways that are connected to the true um, existence of divine government. And yet the actual American government um, does not recognize God. So there's this discrepancy here between huge faith of Americans and the way the uh, organization of government is organized. Now I know that there are many churches who have ideas about how to organize divine government, but the divine government organization has to come from kingdom of God. And I followed that recommendation of my American friends, got miraculously healed 20 years ago. God restored my shape. And that taught me that without divine miraculous healing, the organization of my body would have been um, injured um, shape that was it's not allowing normal function. With divine organization, I was able to receive divine order from God. He healed me miraculously. If he can heal me as an individual, he can also heal a nation. So now, as I'm confident in divine love, I realize that any order has to have foundation of divine order first in order to get the right shape. So I know that in America we have that faith already. We just don't have the knowledge and vision how to apply it to organization of governmental authority. I've been thinking a lot about this, uh, asking God for guidance, but I believe we can get it. The difference between my individual healing and healing of a nation is that healing of the nation has to come to many people at the same time. Um, healing of an individual is just between me and God. Uh, healing of the nation is between me, God, and many people who are part of it. And that is um, really um, a way to connect people in divine order that allows them to sense unity between them, not that comes from their hearts, but it comes from God. It is added value. It's like prestige. Uh, MIT has prestige. It's added value to education. It's very similar to divine government. It's added value to what the connections are between us. So it is not anything that would come from us, but would come from God to add value to us so that we can connect with each other through his divine love. And I think this is now a way I can um, express my gratitude to people who encouraged me, encouraged me to search for the um, miraculous healing of my life from injuries that were very painful and caused a lot of suffering. So as I'm now healed, I'm asking God to show us the way how to receive healing from the national disorder that has been creating 
um, a lot of pain and suffering and a lot of um, 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 debt, destabilization and uh, fear in people. So help me with this because I think that God really wants to heal America as a nation with everybody who is here on this land. God loves America. I know for sure that his love is very powerful, but his love has to connect in the right way with people who are capable of receiving it. So that is my focus now about the need to have uh, divine, miraculous order in America, in many other countries, but um, I am here in America, so uh, my stake of gratitude is connected with um, divine destiny of America and then other countries I'm connected to. But America is central for my healing because this is where miraculous healing started and this is the country which encouraged me to search for miraculous uh, presence of God and miraculous um, love of God to heal from any wounds even um, wounds that medically uh, impossible to heal so Let's think about the concept of order in this um, uh, reality of divine government and then from this perspective to look at other types of order. There's natural order of things, there's universal order, there's civil orders, and there are family orders, friends, this huge list of orders. And then when we have that list to look at the phenomenon of disorder and then to apply logic and apply um, rational thinking to understand that kind of categorization because the, um, the second uh, sub-concept -con um, uh, uh, concerning the concept of order is categorization. So the process in which ideas and objects are recognized, differentiated and understood. And we have to have that process of categorization applied because today there's huge confusion about um, one phenomena uh, um, that maybe applies to a very small percentage of people is extended as categorization um, uh, uh, way for the whole group of people. So there's a lot of bad thinking today around matters of uh, categorization and justice that doesn't have the right measure and the right weight um, in application of uh, judicial verdicts can become injustice in itself, disorder itself. So we need to look at what is happening today in matters of organization um, with perspective that we can have efficient organization applied in the right way and it doesn't have to be um, uh, to what we have been doing that led to those massive debts. Um, we had regular phones, now we have smartphones. We had um, ways to organize authority that created massive debt, we can find ways that actually creates excess wealth. I believe that government can be rich. 
the concept that the government is broke, constantly begging, um, uh, indebted to banks all over the world, that's not my concept of a government. My concept of a government would come from divine government, the wealthy government, the government that has overflow of wealth and can supply needs of everybody who is eligible. So it is not capitalism, it's not socialism, it's a high level of supply side economics that I came up with in the 80s that worked pretty good for that time period. But this is a higher level of supply side economics. It's supply side economics that comes from divine government. Let's see how it works. If God can, could heal um, uh, my body from those uh, horrible injuries, he can bring his healing vision to us so that we create the order of authority in America that is stable, happy, prosperous, and, um, hap uh, and, and acceptable to all inhabitants of this majestic land. I believe that it's possible and it's a better way to what we have today with constant arguing, with constant accusation, claims, uh, and vandalism. Let's restore beauty and love to American authority.